Hello, good morning, good evening, and good night, depending on where you live. So I told you that I don't like to share my political opinions on this channel, but Mr. 2007 asked Chick-fil-A versus KFC, and that's something I just have to put on the internet. So I have positives for both restaurants, negatives, and then things each of them are good at. So here we go for Chick-fil-A first. Chick-fil-A first off has good service like 24-7. If you've ever been to a Chick-fil-A, unless it's been like a weirdly ominous bad day, usually Chick-fil-A is like top tier with their work ethic. Number two, Chick-fil-A milkshakes are amazing. I had one like two days ago. It was a chocolate one and it was so good. I hadn't had one in so long. So I was just blown away by the insane quality of this milkshake. Number three, Chick-fil-A food in general is just really fantastic. The chicken sandwiches are usually what I get. I also like the chicken nuggets and I also like the chicken minis. Fourth and finally, Chick-fil-A has a cool logo. I don't know about you, but I really like it. So first off for KFC, KFC has some really good potato wedges. I'll go ahead and say this, the potato wedges at KFC are better than the fries at Chick-fil-A. I'm not a big fan of the fries at Chick-fil-A, but that's okay. Another positive for KFC, you can go there on Sundays. Me and my family are a group of people who like to go to KFC on Sundays sometimes, and it's good. It's a good, like, experience. It's nice. I mean, like, no hate to Chick-fil-A because they have their reasons for it, and that's, like, fine. That's okay. But, like, I love me some good chicken on a Sunday, so when I can't get me some chicken at Chick-fil-A, I'm gonna go to KFC. Another positive for KFC is that KFC made a virtual dating simulator for Colonel Sanders. I played it. It's hilarious. KFC has some spooky secret spices, which I think is hilarious and amazing for the brand in general, so that's another positive. Now for the negatives. The one thing that I dislike about Chick-fil-A is how expensive it is. I mean, if you're like Jeffree Star and you have all the money in the world, you can go to Chick-fil-A, spend some money, and be fine with it. But like, I usually have to plan it. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go to Chick-fil-A then, so I'm gonna save my money and have a good time then. The negative for KFC is that typically the ones that I go to are dirtier. Like the cleanliness between KFC and Chick-fil-A, there is like, for me, a clear divide to where Chick-fil-A is cleaner typically than a KFC. Now I'm gonna go into things that they're both really good at. Both KFC and Chick-fil-A have really good mac and cheese. It's the type of mac and cheese that's like really creamy essentially and it's good. For another thing they're both good at, I feel like they're both really good for like sit down restaurants. I mean, it obviously depends on the day that you go, but I feel like for Chick-fil-A, most people sit down. I mean, they obviously have really long, like, lines to go through drive through but both are really good at just, like, having a chill environment to literally just sit. So if you're wondering, I favor Chick-fil-A over KFC. That's, like, an easy win for me in my book. If we're just going by food alone, I'd say that Chick-fil-A has a better taste overall. They're both really good restaurants, but, uh, KFC, I'm sorry. I still love your wedges though.